Well, I promised you, well, I promised Jenny actually, to show her what the units worked up like. Um, they are great, but they're very, very flimsy. As you can see, <laughs> I've accidentally broke one of them already. Well, not broken it. It's just, I can't fit the, I can't fit the clip thing back, back on. So it keeps falling. <laughs> it keeps falling down. Ah, oh, maybe somebody will help me to do that. Just one clip. And anyway, I've got my t shirt well, not my T-shirts, my vest tops in there in order of uh, colour. And the rest of them are still empty at the bottom, but there's plenty of uh, things I can put in them. Uh, the wardrobe did manage to get into here. Hello. Um, it's got some things on top of it already. The green sweater there was because I discovered it had a hole in it. Well, it's not a hole, it's only a seam ripped. So this one's polishing up yet, but it's all in, in there. Inside here I've got uh, the, yeah, the woolies that are for sale, there's some in the other sliders. Um, those are my uh, colourful trousers. <laughs> the other side contains more and more trousers. <laughs> Yes, I do have quite a few pairs of trousers. Um, if you read my post on Facebook when I said I fell over, um, this is what I was sorting out. This is my uh, selection of woolies. <laughs> As you can see, I piled them all up behind me and then stepped back and probably sat on them all. And so that was why I fell over. That is the baby's, uh, what do you call it? Moses basket that I use for display. The towel is just to protect it from dust and things. In here, in the wardrobe, I've got my colourful jackets. And in the other side of the wardrobe, there's even more of my sweaters. <laughs> so that's one room, more or less, done. As you can see, we're nowhere near ready because the I've still got all the boxes and stuff. My bedroom is definitely not anywhere near ready because it wants decorated. And in here we're making progress. Albeit slowly. As you can see there's still a pile of stuff on the floor. I've now got a new chair. And most of the patterns and things have made their way upstairs behind there. This let me sit down. Still, in a, still an old truck. There's magazines and things. And over here, oh, I can get without my hand. There's even more. All of these green, green folders and all of the black folders have all got single patterns in. When I put the shelf together again, because it fell over, I'm going to put some more. I've got some more of these and some more inserts to put some more patterns there. Those are the pattern books that wouldn't fit downstairs. And as you can see, more yarn, more yarn. And up there in the, oh, I don't know if you can see it a lot, in the tomato boxes are all the oddments that I can uh, use when I'm making the multicolored uh, shawls, you know, done in different, uh, different threads. What we're going to do is, that is my American section. That's usually Red Heart or uh, I Love Lish Yarn, Karen Simply Soft, etc. This silver thing in the way here is actually a clothes rail that I can use to display my um, finished garments on when I finished. The doors there belong to the airing cupboard outside on the landing. They've not made it there. As you can see, I've not made much progress in this room. Those two purple units are full of uh, crochet magazines. I've got the fan heater and the heater there. This is my shoe rack which won't be staying in here obviously but it was falling to pieces and I've managed to find an allen key and screw it back together again. The box there has got the folders in so I've got to uh, put the patterns in yet. Those boxes there with the yarn in I'm hoping we'll finish up underneath the window when I bring the white units in as you can see we've uh, 
was to live a mess under here. Still a long way to go, but we're getting there. Uh, she's still naked, her pants keep dropping off her. <laughs> and that is what should fit in that hole, kind of there, yeah. But it's uh, had a, a falling down session. So this is where we are up to at the moment. If I get up and sit on this chair, then you can see better. Oh! what this corner's going to be looking like. It's going to be, there's my, one of my chairs that I'm going to be sitting on while I look at all the patterns and things. When I finish doing the rest of the patterns that are already downstairs. So, slowly but surely, I'm getting there. But it'll be a long while before you, well, I say a long while, maybe another couple of weeks or so, before you see the finished tidy craft room. As you can see, we've had a bit of a collapse over there. That's what collapsed. And um, the rest of it is quite tidy and organised. For those of you who think I have an extraordinary amount of yarn and I should be donating it to charity, then I'm sorry, but it's taken me a long time to accumulate this. And it is for my business and not for my personal usage. So I'm not being rotten. I do do my bit for charity and I do donate to charity. But um, as far as having too much yarn, then I'm sorry, but no, it's my business, this, not my personal stash. So sorry if I sounded a bit awful about that. But every time I make a, a stash video, I seem to get bombarded with people saying, you have far too much stash, you should donate it all. Uh, in an ideal world, maybe I would. But sorry, but I do need the money. <laughs> that I spent on this yarn to make money for me. Not much money, because I get nothing for making my stuff, but that's the way I try to pass my time, yeah. So, that's uh, a little quick bye-bye from me. I will make another video, um, probably today, but this is just the quick update on where I'm up to with the stash room and the walk-in wardrobe room. So as soon as I get that <laughs> faulty door fixed. But I mean, the units are very, very good for the money. Don't get me wrong, they were. But I wouldn't recommend them if you've got any robust children about. Or if you're a little bit on the rough side. Because as soon as you kind of open the... As you can see, I've not got any decorating done as yet. It's still waiting to be painted. Uh, there's me. Learning club, and that's where the doors are from. But these units, although they're very, very good for what I want them for, they are very, very flimsy. So if you're wanting them to store your yarn in and that, it probably, you know, they probably kind of won't. You'd have to be very, very careful with them. I only touched that and it fell off. Um, you know, they're very flimsy. I'll open one that's empty. As you say, they're just made of sort of very stretched plastic but uh, I mean I had a bit of a job that's what I wanted to do I wanted to put the, the curtains up uh, and that was why I had to move this unit and that's why I fell over so anyway this is where we're up to everything's nicely covered over but at least it's looking tidy in here even though it is just my dressing room still haven't moved this if you can read this you're standing too close to my stash Still haven't moved that. That's on the wrong door now. So, there we are, folks. That's all for now. <laughs> so at least it's nice and private when I walk through. I can do my dressing, my dressing room, without anybody seeing me from outside. <laughs> uh, I will update you very, very soon, but bye for now. <laughs>